Okay. So your underlying energy, guys, is the hangman. So there's a situation in your life right now that's a bit on standstill. There's a little bit of feeling like you're in limbo right now. Um, I do get the sense that um, for a lot of you guys, it's because there is a need to see something from a different perspective. You're waiting on something to kind of happen in your love life. And it could be because of the of new love entering your life or revitalization of a current relationship for those of you that are already in a relationship, okay? So... Ooh, this is nice. Um, for a lot of you guys, though, I feel like you guys are in limbo. You guys do feel like you're stuck in limbo, but only because there is, again, there is a, there's a certain perspective that needs to be seen, okay? Now, for your current state of being, you have the star. Now, the star does indicate here that there is a new hope. There is also seeing that there is potential to of growth in a situation when it doesn't look very stable, doesn't look very good. It's like pretty much the rainbow after the storm. That's what I feel the star is, um, and it's, a re, it's a, it revitalizes hope. Even though we've seen something very disastrous kind of happen, the collapse of our foundation when it really wasn't really stable in the first place, we could we could start a new. We know that there is an after to a great disaster. So I do feel like there's healing here, and there's a, there's also manifesting as well. You, this is some serious manifestation energy now what you guys want right is the sun so i feel like you guys want a bit more clarity i think you guys actually want to you know lead and walk to the um walk down the path of, of happiness um and the reason why you have that path of happiness with the sun is because things are so clear things are very easy to see there's nothing obstructing your view not like the moon because right before this is the moon and things were hard to see things were a little scary to kind of interact with so i do feel like here with the sun you are wanting to um to gain clarity in your situation to regain to regain that uh, perspective that's that's lacking right now in the, in the situation and be able to walk down the path of happiness um, considering that your underlying energy is the hangman and you do need a perspective to kind of push through so you can release that, release what it is that's holding you guys back. Um, but what's keeping you from the sun, what's keeping you from clarity is the eight of wands. So perhaps the arrows of love has come in to attack. But I do feel like things may be overwhelming and coming up very, very fast. Maybe things are just kind of overwhelming i feel like there is just a seriously overwhelming feeling for lots of you guys there is maybe there's a lack of communication here um or maybe there isn't clear isn't there isn't a lot of clarity but i feel like overall i feel like everything is actually clear and easy to see it's just that it's coming at you so fast that it's overwhelming okay uh, i feel like yeah i feel like honestly you're overwhelmed with something overwhelmed with a certain situation the tower okay yeah feeling overwhelmed and this is just a rapid change. Things are happening really, really fast. And I feel like, and it's pushing you outside of your comfort zone. It's pushing you outside. It's pushing you to leave this place of comfort, a place of familiarity. So to get to a place where you can truly begin to prosper. It's a transitional phase in your life. And I feel like this is an overwhelming period. Now, Taurus, you're still a fixed sign. So I do sense that with this, um, with the Six of Swords, you're not really exactly happy about moving. And doing other things, you know, getting out of your, you know, you know, getting out of your situation here. Um, but I do get the sense that this is a change and the right direction um, toward getting to this perspective. It just may not be, it may not feel that great going through it. Because the Six of Swords anyway is a very mournful card. It's very sad um, because you are leaving something very, um, leaving something that you've known for quite a long time behind. Now, your best path to follow is to focus on the relationship, focus on the person that you're and you know, you're dealing with, the person that you are connecting with right now. Um, this is talking about connections as well. This for some of you guys that are currently in a relationship. This is just talking about focusing on you, both you and the other person. Um, Reestablishing the connection for a lot of you guys. But if this is someone new, I feel like this is really talking about, you know really connecting with this person really connecting with them um and seeing why you guys connect really kind of getting to know each other a little bit more um and for those of you that are you know that are single and ready to mingle i do feel like this could be talking about you guys going out and interacting with people to meet other people uh, going out on a date if you guys have had an offer about a date i would definitely go ahead and do that go out and have some fun now how you guys are feeling is the is the 
nine of pentacles now i don't think this is boredom and i know i just said have some fun and this is a card that can indicate you be feeling bored which very well could be the case or she could still be very bored things could be happening very fast there's a lot of change but the change doesn't have to be fun um i do sense though that there is a feeling of kind of 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 entrapment of in in your um and your abundance i do feel like right here this is kind of feeling like not only independent and confident which is really good but you could be you know surrounding yourself in a gilded cage because you um you know this is a this is a transition from another you know perspective so when i see that nine of pentacles come out with the six of swords i feel like the nine of pentacles may not be as hesitant as the four of pentacles is about change but there is still a little bit of apprehension because you did work very hard for what you built here so this could be that you guys may be feeling very confident yes feeling very independent yes but you probably but you also probably feel very very lonely and that's why i think that's why the the advice is to concentrate on the relationship concentrate on what makes you feel good about the connection because um i do sense that you may be feeling lonely so also for a lot of you guys you guys could be feeling like you know you guys have everything that you need in a relationship but the connection itself so you guys feel very single in your connection so that's why it's talking about focusing on that so and your hopes and fears is the king of wands for a lot of you guys this could indicate that there is a person that is very fiery very you know that's very fierce knows what they want but i feel like this is you guys um maybe you guys are wanting to be more confident and very go-getter about your relationship i feel like or, or more passionate about which direction you're going in regards to your love life or any direction in uh, or you know any aspect of your life okay I do get the sense that you're worried that you may have you may deal with somebody that has a lot of pride that doesn't really um know how to say no or doesn't really compromise very well um but i do feel like this is your hopes you guys want to be more confident in yourself you guys want to um you guys want to have that energy that passion and that enthusiasm to kind of go about this new adventure um and get things done okay this could be a dealing with an uh, Leo, uh, Sagittarius, uh, um, and Aries here as well that I'm noticing, okay? But I feel like you may you, you're hoping for something something that really gets you going, that really gets that gusto and and gets you active. I feel, okay. Now for your outcome, you do have the two of two of Pentacles, not two of Wands, two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles does talk about making practical decisions, but your emotions are put to the back burner okay it's like holding down a tsunami while you're trying to make you know trying to juggle some stuff well i don't know how i feel about this exactly but this is what your situation is looking like it could lead you to having to make these practical decisions but most importantly guys if you ever do have to make practical decisions about your relationship or try or having to juggle things i really think tending to your emotions should be one of those things that should be monitored and should be you know juggled as well just so that way that you know you're you don't actually like hold back so much water that it just doesn't give off enough access you know it doesn't get a chance to express itself so nurture your emotions as well as keeping things in balance but you at the, at the end of the day you do have to eventually pick a solution pick a path to commit to so because there it could be an issue with commitment here or an issue with having to put you know figure out what you're going to commit to because these practical decisions you know, you can't juggle both forever. So eventually, it's just like the two of swords. You have to put one of those pentacle down and go ahead and go about making that future happen with that pentacle that you've got. Okay. But ultimately, guys, I feel like you guys want clarity in your situation. You want this in, you want your perspective. You want this new perspective to basically shine the light onto the path of happiness and walk down it. Okay. You want to travel there. And I feel like things are overwhelming, which is kind of cause you know this, which is keeping you from the sun, because it's some rapid, rapid change that's causing you guys to transition. Okay, so concentrating on your relationship, um, getting the support that you need out of your relationship is important because if you're feeling very lonely in your connection with somebody already, then that's there is a need to really focus on what needs to change, and it has a lot to do with your emotion, with the, with this connection. The connection may need to change. The perspective of a relationship should needs to be looked at a little differently if you feel alone in the situation of transitioning if you're under a lot of stress you know you have got a lot of stuff going on 
the support of another i mean i know this isn't the three of cups but i feel like if the two of cups is here this is and it's talking about focusing on your love life focusing on this person or relying or connecting with a friend even because the two of cups doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic person and friendships are just as much love as a romantic person or family so connecting with someone you know working with somebody that feels the same way about you I feel like that's how that's how that's what's gonna help you get through this. You don't have to go through this self situation by yourself, okay? And I think maybe the King of Wands could be somebody that's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your life that can help you with this, or someone that you find that's very confident in their ability to manifest, to bring things to you know, to fruition. And maybe someone that's an inspiring figure to you, okay? That you can you know that you know for sure that can help you in your path to clarity. But you need the perspective to get there and i feel like this person can in your relationship or it, what that you know um can help you get there okay all right and you guys have playfulness okay so um that's back to what i was saying earlier about you guys feeling really bored um yeah for some of you guys you guys could be totally fine but just kind of feeling like the connection is not involved in your relationship whatsoever but you have everything else you know support love money luxury but you don't have the love in the connection like that could be it in itself playfulness does say um to recapture romance allow your inner uh, your inner youthful um spirit uh um, of fun to shine okay so i really feel like that is definitely the case it's time to kind of let that energy purge. And I think that's really what, you know, the, why the king of wands comes up too. Because again, you're a fixed sign. So you would come up as a king. So it would make sense that your current situation would be saying, bring out that passionate side. Bring out that energy. And I feel like the energy comes out when it when there's, in you know, when your partner's in, around. Or there's somebody around you um, that you can enjoy being yourself with. To let that energy flow. Okay. Let me go ahead and pull your wisdom of the, um, sorry, whispers of love for the week. I'm going to do the same shuffle for wisdom, the whispers of love. I want to say wisdom of the Oracle so bad. All right. And you guys have spend time together, spend quality time together. Okay. Look at that. Literally what this card is saying, the two of cups in your advice is spending quality time together, spending time with one another. It is, imper it is imp um, imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, and listening and talking to each other. Absolutely 100% true. And I feel like that's what the dynamic of the relationship needs to change. I feel like that's what the perspective is that needs to come to light. Is that you don't have to suffer by yourself, especially with this thing that's this stress that's keep you know that's that's keeping you from expressing your love. Okay. And if you feel alone in your relationships, then it's time to spend more quality time with your partner. And I'm not saying that this is your fault or anything like that, Taurus, but it is going to help you a lot with the stuff that you're going through. And if, uh, I feel like it's going to help you make those decisions in a practical sense, but also to remind you that your emotions do matter, okay? Emotions do come first, and if you are in a relationship and you feel very alone, it's you the relationship needs to be reestablished the connection the emotional connection does need to be established okay 